Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Every day I'm hustling. <laughs> okay. Oh, do, was that our intro? Did I say Q and A Tuesday? Q and A Tuesday. Done. <laughs> intro. Today's question comes from Gray, and Gray writes. Hey Marie, look forward to every Q&A, love your vids. Thank you. Okay, my question is, how do you know the difference of when you're just out of your comfort zone and when your gut is telling you not to do something? Sometimes they feel the same, butterfly stomach, and I cannot separate them. Any bright, hot, and sexy tip? It's about to get bright, hot, and sexy up in here, y'all. All right, I am really excited to, to A this cue because it's uh, one of the most common ones I get asked. I've got two strategies today to help you hone in on how to tell the difference between fear and intuition. First one is this. You've got this question that you can ask yourself to tap into your natural knowing. Each of us has a natural knowing. It's something like a body knowing, kind of like your intuition. And uh, it's a simple question and it goes like this. When you think about doing the thing that you're talking about and you're confused, you don't know if you shouldn't do it or you're just scared to do it, do you feel expansive or contracted? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so Grace says she has no idea what the hell that means. So let's dive into what expansive means. So if you think about something and you feel expansive, it's kind of like your shoulders open up, your chest opens up, you get really excited. Even if there's a little bit of fear involved, it feels like, oh my God, I'd really love to do that. There's kind of like a forward motion, everything expands. Now let's talk about contracted. So that feeling, if you think about doing the thing you're thinking about doing, and all of a sudden you start to kind of pull in or your head starts to shake no, or you start to feel a sense of dread or like God that feels like pulling teeth, that's a sense of contraction and that's how you know. If it's a contracted feeling, that's your intuition or your gut telling you, stay away, honey, do not go near that thing with a 10 foot pole. On the other hand, if you feel expansive and you still have some fear, Go for it, it's a good thing. Is that good enough? I get it now. See, now she gets it. Strategy number two. You wanna kind of use that same inner ability, but this time you're gonna pull in your friends, and here's what I mean. So as a coach, I often work with people and they'll tell me about their projects that are coming up and I just watch them. And it's really interesting because when people start to talk about their ideas and things that they wanna do, their body doesn't lie. Kind of like Shakira's, my hips don't lie. Body never lies. And when you hear someone talking about something that they really shouldn't do, they actually start to look dead. Like they get pasty, they start to look depressed, almost like their body language starts to pull in. And then when people talk about something that they're really excited about that they should do, even though it scares the crap out of them, they light up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> So here's how you implement this. You gotta get some good friends around you and you wanna talk through the ideas or this opportunity that you're not sure if you should take or not and have them really pay attention. Now, of course, it's important that these friends are honest, that you trust them and that they actually care about you. And I promise you talk through this and they'll be able to tell in a hot minute whether or not you should go for it just based on how your body and your face is reacting. Now, finally, I wanna leave you with an awesome quote from my friend, Stephen Pressfield, who I interviewed here. He has this awesome quote, which says, the more important a project is to your soul's evolution, the more you'll resist it. Booyah, Stephen Pressfield. Awesome question, Gray. Thank you so much for asking it. And thank you for watching. If you dug this video, you know what I want you to do. I want you to like it. I want you to comment. I want you to share it with all your friends. And of course, if you're not yet on the newsletter list, come on over to marieforleo.com. Jump on. I'm going to send you lots of good stuff and we're going to have a great time together. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Hey, RHH Live is coming up. Are you coming? Go to rhhlive.com for details. Now I'm gonna A the sh out of this queue. I'm, we can't say that. That was, that was, that was so rough. I'm gonna eat the out of this queue. That's my mom coming out. My mom is very truck driver. Thanks, mom.